the cradle of Western civilization and the birthplace of the Renaissance. Italy is a land rich in culture, art, and history. Woven into the fabric of its scenic landscapes and bustling cities is a compelling narrative that stretches back millennia. It is a tapestry of human endeavor, ancient empires, and architectural masterpieces that continue to captivate the world. One civilization's influence stands out prominently, an epic that shaped much of our world today, the remarkable era of ancient Rome. Emerging from the fertile soil of Italy's western coast, the dawn of Roman civilization brought forth an era that would leave indelible imprints on history. The city of Rome, founded in 753 BC, was the nucleus of an empire that would grow to envelop the known world. This growth was fueled by extraordinary ambition, relentless military expansion, and an unprecedented fusion of cultures. From innovative engineering feats to influential legal systems, the Romans introduced a series of achievements that still shape our world today. The modern calendar, the foundations of Western law and government, and advancements in aqueducts are only the tip of the iceberg. The architecture of ancient Rome stands as a testament to the grandeur of the civilization. Aesthetically appealing, yet structurally profound, Roman architectural ingenuity continues to inspire awe. Dominating Rome's cityscape is the Colosseum, an architectural marvel whose towering arches and colossal structure have weathered the ravages of time. This vast, elliptical amphitheater, large enough to hold an estimated 50 to 80,000 spectators, stands as a vivid reminder of a civilization obsessed with power, spectacle, and entertainment. Constructed under Emperor Vespasian's decree and completed by his successor, Titus, the Colosseum was much more than a mere building it was a representation of Rome's desire for dominance, a manifestation of the might of the empire in stone and marble. Within the formidable walls of the Colosseum, the Romans hosted an array of spectacles and performances. The most infamous among these were the gladiatorial contests. These fights were staged between gladiators, trained combatants who often were slaves, prisoners of war, or condemned criminals. They were thrown into combat, sometimes against each other and sometimes against dangerous beasts brought from the furthest reaches of the empire. These bouts were brutal, bloody, and often ended in death. The Roman Forum, the heartbeat of the Roman Republic, offers another window into the past. The Forum Romanum, from its genesis, served as the nucleus of Roman civilization, echoing the voices of orators, politicians, and generals. During the era of the Republic and later, the Empire, the Forum was the hub of the cultural, political, and religious life of ancient Rome. It was the venue where legal trials took place, laws were passed, and political discussions ensued. The cries of orators such as Cicero, passionately arguing for justice and the rule of law, once filled the ear here, their words echoing against the stoic grandeur of temples and public buildings. Consider the story of Julius Caesar, a name synonymous with power and ambition. His journey to becoming a dictator perpetuo was intricately connected to the Roman Forum. It was here in 44 BC that he was publicly offered the royal diadem by Mark Antony during the festival of Lupercalia. Although Caesar refused the crown, the incident stoked the fears of his contemporaries. Perhaps most importantly, the Forum was the epic center of religious life. It was home to some of the most significant temples, like the Temple of Saturn and the Temple of Vesta, places of worship and venues for religious festivals. These temples served as reminders of the divine favor and protection bestowed upon Rome, reinforcing the spiritual connection between the citizens and their gods. But no sight is as haunting, as terrifying a reminder of the power of Mother Nature than the city of Pompeii a city frozen in time. On that fateful day in 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius unleashed its fury in a catastrophic eruption. Pompeii, once a bustling Roman city, was blanketed under a deadly shroud of volcanic debris. Thousands perished, 
their final moments immortalized in a chilling tableau of despair and desperation. Yet, as the city fell silent, it became a time capsule, preserving a slice of Roman life in eerie perpetuity. Today, Pompeii offers a window into the Roman world. You can wander through the streets, exploring houses still adorned with frescoes and mosaics, standing as vivid reminders of their erstwhile inhabitants' tastes and affluence. The city's amphitheater, marketplaces, and public baths paint a poignant picture of the social and cultural life that once thrived here. Whatever remains of all these ruins gives us a sense of the culture of Roman society, one marked by hierarchical structures, public spectacles, and a remarkable blending of cultural elements. But we get a far more intimate look when we explore the houses here, a glimpse into everyday life for the rich and working class. Take for instance the opulent domus, or houses of the wealthy Romans, often complete with internal courtyards, elaborate dining rooms, or triclinium's and adorned with intricate mosaics and frescoes. These opulent homes, some of which can still be admired in Pompeii, were a stark contrast to the multi-story apartment buildings that housed the majority of Rome's population. These were far more humble, emphasizing the disparities in lifestyles, which is no different from the world we live in today. Ancient Rome was also a melting pot of cultures, largely due to its vast territorial expansions. This cultural blend is evident in the art and architecture of the period. For example, the Pantheon, with its Corinthian columns and Greek pediment, combined with the Roman innovation of concrete and the monumental dome, epitomizes the synthesis of cultural influences. The frescoes and sculptures that have survived offer a unique insight into Roman aesthetics and values. The numerous statues of deities and emperors, as well as the elaborate reliefs on structures like Trajan's Column, highlight the religious devotion and political propaganda of the period. Frescoes from villas and public buildings present scenes from mythology, daily life, and even landscapes, reflecting a society that valued both the heroic and the mundane. Yet the glory of Rome was not eternal. Spanning over a thousand years, the seeds of Rome's decline were sown internally. Over the centuries, the political fabric of the Roman Empire began to fray, marked by a succession of short-lived emperors, rampant corruption, and intense power struggles. The Praetorian Guard, initially the emperor's bodyguards, became kingmakers, auctioning the throne to the highest bidder. Simultaneously, the empire grappled with severe economic issues, excessive taxation, inflation, and a devaluing currency devastated the economy leading to widespread discontent and civil unrest. Rome's dependence on slave labor also stagnated technological progress, contributing to its economic woes. Add to the rising tensions the thinning military and the advent of Christianity, leading to religious conflicts, and Rome crumbled. The ruins we see today stand as both an epitaph and a eulogy to a civilization that soared to the heights of human achievement yet was ultimately humbled by the unforgiving hands of time. In modern Italy, these ruins now serve as a bridge between the past and the present. Scattered across the Italian landscape, they juxtapose the contemporary hustle and bustle with the stoic echo of a bygone era. Its legacy lives on, serving as a reminder that those who do not learn history are doomed to repeat it. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and that it has given you a fresh perspective on the world we live in. If you enjoyed this project, please consider leaving a thumbs up and sharing it with others who might find it intriguing. Your support helps us reach a wider audience and inspire more people to explore the wonders of our world and offer different perspectives. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our upcoming releases. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.